So what did you miss at Jubilee today? Wow. You missed a whole day. You missed a, a wonderful morning. Advent 2. We're doing Advent differently this year at Jubilee. So last week was, was Mary. This week was Joseph. And we had our deconstructed pageant. And we wondered how important Joseph is to the story, to the Christmas experience. We wondered about how Joseph reflects us, our hopes, our dreams, our, our actions. And the pageant allowed us to wonder. And then I preached a little more on Joseph and his role. A man who, who knows the character of God as fully as he knows the scripture. And therefore must read scripture through the lens of a God who is loving and inclusive. And it shouldn't be a surprise to us then that Joseph would not humiliate Mary or put her to shame, but would find a way to love and support and to partner with her. Because Joseph knows his scripture, but more importantly, Joseph knows his God. And the invitation for us going into Christmas this time of Advent, in fact, almost any time, is for us to, to be Joseph, to do the right thing even when we don't have to, even when others might tell us not to, to do the right thing, the loving thing. And we had great music today. And then at 4.30 today, we had our, our shush-free service. It's a service for kids, and we had some wonderful children. It was It was small, it was intimate, and... And we talked about what we're waiting for, what we're hoping for at Christmas. And we talked about John, John the Baptist, who was hoping for and waiting for something and preparing. We talked a little bit about how we prepare for the things we hope for. And we talked a little bit and shared a little bit about Jesus being that that we we're hoping for. We talked about hope and joy and love. We made our own little Advent wreaths so that at home we could continue to prepare and wonder. And I will be honest, it was, for me, one of the holiest times I've had in a very long time. It was a beautiful time. And then tonight at 7.30, we had Definitely Not Church, where my musical partner Drew and I do something of a cabaret, and tonight was definitely not Christmas. We did not tell the Christmas story. We had fun with pop songs. We we imagined the Annunciation as done by the Big Bopper. We we had Joseph and God sing Joseph and God singing a a competing duet of "If I Were a Carpenter" and having my baby as they fought over Mary and Mary not needing to have the world mansplained to her singing back at them. Um, <laughs> see, I was so stunned by it. Uh, sit still, look pretty, because this gal is going to rule the world. <sighs> yeah, we had a lot of fun tonight, and there were lots of people. So that's what you missed at Jubilee today. Um, the ridiculous, the sublime, the holy... You missed a little bit of life with us today. And I'm sure you had life wherever you were, but I hope that you get to bring yours into contact with ours and that we get to be together soon because that really is what we're waiting for, to be together. So until we get a chance, God bless you and I hope to see you soon.